guys, crock pots are the bomb because they do a lot of the work for you and everything tastes super delicious once it's done. So how you doing crock pots? Save the day, save the day. Welcome back to 70 pounds of life. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marissa and I'm on a weight loss journey to lose 70 pounds. So today we are going to be starting a new series. This is going to be a meal prep video and I'll be posting new meal prep videos every Wednesday of the week. So stay tuned and check those out. Um, if you guys have any idea of what to call this series, let me know because I really have no clue. We're gonna be meal prepping and I am not a good cook. I have almost burnt my house down, I've cut myself, I've made things that tasted absolutely disgusting before. Um, but I'm doing this because I need meals throughout the week and also I just wanna show everyone that even if you're not that great of a cook, you can meal prep and you can make healthy recipes. Today we're going to be making a turkey and cabbage soup, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need ground turkey breast. I get 99% lean, 1% fat. This is the leanest that I can get at my grocery store. And this is uh, 16 ounces of turkey. For each serving, you should be getting five ounces of turkey. Well, at least I should, because that's how much uh, turkey and a serving that I am allowed. You're also going to need green onions and tomatoes, celery, a head of cabbage, uh, it should be one cup of cabbage per serving. Since we're doing three servings, I'll do three cups of cabbage. You're going to need basil leaves, parsley flakes, chopped onions, onion powder, black pepper, and celery flakes. For my salt, I use this Morton Light Salt. If you're on any type of a health kick, I would definitely recommend switching over to Morton Light Salt. It's a lot less, it's 50% less sodium. Mm, I'm not really good at cutting stuff, so we're just gonna cut this however. Okay, this is weird because I'm bending down. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and start cooking the turkey. I'm going to use original Pam in my pan to keep the meat from sticking. And I also recommend cooking with this if you're trying to eat healthy just because there's very little calories in this and it's better than using uh, any type of grease. You can also use like a coconut oil. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Oh yeah, I'd eat that. Yum. That's, oh, that's so gross. Oh crap, I forgot, I forgot to pray, I forgot to spray the Pam. That'll do. I guess I have to turn the oven on. I'm gonna turn, should turn the oven on. Wait, the stove top, that's not an oven, it's a stove top. Turn the stove top on. So when a recipe calls for one green onion, does that mean like just one of these things? And also which part, like it says to chop it. Do I chop this up here or do I like chop this down here? I don't know, but we're just gonna go with whatever. So that doesn't look any good, so I'm gonna take that off. And then I'll just cut it. Um, so for one serving, of this recipe, it called for one green onion, so I went ahead and got three of these sticks of onion since we're doing three servings. Okay, we're just gonna chop these up. What's the best way to cut? I guess. This seems like a good way to do it. Um, wait, shit. Oh, 
Also for this recipe, you can use chicken, and if you're going to use chicken breasts, you just put them in water and boil it, and then uh, save the water that you boil the chicken in. And when I add water to this recipe, that's when you would add that water that you cooked the chicken with. Okay, so for the most part, the turkey is cooked. It's still not all the way done, but that's fine because I'm gonna let it cook out the rest of the way uh, with all the other ingredients. All right, so basically we're just gonna add everything in here. We're just gonna throw it all in and let it sit and then we're done. So we're gonna go ahead and add six cups of water. I don't know if this thing will even hold six cups. Yeah, I think we're good. This is only a two cup measure, so I have to go back and forth. I'm concerned that everything's not gonna fit. Okay, so we're just gonna, oh. That sounds really gross when the tomatoes are hitting the water. It kind of sounds like, um, well, you guys let me know what you think it sounds like. I'm not gonna say it. And cabbage. Is this all gonna fit? Uh, I don't know about this. I think we might have a problem. So for the salt, I'm gonna do a teaspoon. For me personally, I'm allowed a half a teaspoon of salt a day, so this is three servings, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon, just, just a teaspoon. I don't wanna do a teaspoon and a half because I'm afraid it'll be too salty. I don't really know how much basil I should put in this, so I'm just gonna put however much I think there should be. I feel like when I eat chicken, or any type of like chicken noodle type of soup, there's always a lot of these little flecks in there, so we'll put that much. And onion powder, I don't really know how much to put, so we'll just put that much. And for the parsley flakes, I'm going to put, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just making this up. I feel like that's a lot. The chopped onions. And then for the celery flakes, um, yeah, sure, that'll do it. I'm gonna put a little bit more water because I feel like there's not enough. I don't know. And then we'll just mix this, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on low and let it go until the cabbage is not crispy anymore. And then we'll be good. And I'm also just gonna double check to make sure the turkey is cooked all the way through. It basically already is, it just needed a few more minutes. So I think it'll be fine. Okay, we'll see how it turns out. I forgot to put the bean sprouts in. I'm just gonna put a little bit, like that much, because these things are kind of grossing me out. They look like worms, not even gonna lie. And that concludes today's meal prep video. Again, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should call this playlist, let me know. Also, if you guys end up trying out this recipe, post it on Instagram or Tumblr and tag me in it and let me know how it was. Or comment down below and let me know how your recipe turned out. I know it was a kind of, a, I kind of stumbled through this video a bit. Again, I'm not the best cook. I don't cook often, so thanks for sticking with me. And I think that I can only get better from here, to be honest, so I'm excited to watch my progress as a cook. But then I'm leaving in October, so I won't be cooking anymore. Anyways, thanks for watching guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment and let me know if you have any suggestions or any meals that you'd like to see me make in the future. Have a fantastic week and I will see you on Tuesday for my week 12 weigh-in video. Bye! Yes, crack pot. Yes, crack pot.